I just want to show you guys the ES2 synthesizer. This is probably the more complex of the synthesizers. The only thing that's more complex than this inside of Logic would be, say, Sculpture. It's pretty intense. But uh, let's just stick with this one here. You'll notice, um, again, it moves from left to right. You have your oscillator section here. You have your filter section and your amplifier section. Down below is your routing matrix, and then you have your, your modulation and your amplifiers. Your, you have two LFOs and three envelopes. Up here, you'll notice there are three different oscillators. The mix of the oscillators can be controlled by this triangle. So if I just want to hear oscillator one, I can push this little cursor all the way up until it says 100% and we're just listening to oscillator number one. So there's a sine wave. You'll notice I'm adjusting the filter. I mean, eventually, I will remove so much of the harmonic content or so much that you won't even hear it. But notice how it's not buzzy at all. That is because these don't contain any harmonics at all, like I was mentioning before. You can tune these by octave. You have plus 36 or minus 36 in terms of the octaves. You also notice you've got, this is our triangle wave. There's a sawtooth wave. There's a square wave. There's our pulse width. And then you have a sine wave. And then you'll see something called FM, and we'll talk about that in just one second, what FM means. FM is, stands for frequency modulation. And we'll look at that in just one second. But I do want to point out there's one thing you'll notice here. Why is there a sine wave? That's what a sine wave looks like. And why is there a word called sine wave down at the bottom? Well, down at the bottom, these are what we call digi waves. If you click and hold on the word and drag up and down, you'll notice it changes to lots of different waveforms. These are complex waveforms. <laughs> Now, what's also very interesting, you have these digi waves. You can assign, say, an LFO to the digi wave, meaning you can have the LFO sort of modulate and basically do what I'm doing by hand. Basically, change between those digi waves. It's called wave sequencing. Very, very interesting. There's a type of synthesis called wavetable synthesis, and that's very much what this is. You have a bank of waves that have been assigned to numbers, or a table, if you want to call it. Think of it like a, like a, like a table of contents, where you see like bullet points or something like that. Each one of those is a different wave, and each, because it's assigned to a number, it can be recalled instantaneously, or it can be swept by using any of the, uh, the LFOs or things like that. Pretty cool.